Coming into the 2019 season, improvement was the key word for this UTEP football team. And while there may or may not have been improvement in some areas of the game, there was no improvement in terms of wins and losses, the most important statistic of them all. The Miners, 1 and 10, heading into their season finale today against the Rice Owls on Senior Day. Owls started fast with a touchdown on their opening possession. Tom Stewart connects with Austin Trammell for the touchdown. Rice up 7 0 early. The Miners' defense, they would come up big here, though. Stewart can't handle the snap. The ball is loose in their own end zone, and once the dust settled, it was ruled a UTEP touchdown. Praise Amahule falling on it. That made it 7-6 Rice. Owls would strike again, though. Aston Walter with a 30-yard touchdown run here. Just breaking the pylon. Rice back up eight. Kyle Loxley had a big first half. Here he hooks up with Justin Garrett for a 12-yard touchdown pass. Miners led 16-14 at the half, but Loxley was hurt on UTEP's final possession of the first half with a hand injury. He would not return in this football game, and the Owls outscored the Miners 16-0 in the second half. Giovanni Johnson, a couple second-half rushing touchdowns. UTEP falls 30-16, 1-11 for the second consecutive year under head coach Dana Dimmel. They can't be measured by wins and losses right now. They got to be measured by strides that were taken and, and, and allowing me to get my full stamp on this program, you know, and to be able to, to build a program the way it needs to be built. So as far as successful, absolutely in the, me in the measurement of that the guys played extremely hard and there are a lot of good guys that are leaving the program that did things the right way and did things in a, lot, in a positive direction. So, you know, I look at it that way. You got to build, you know, and to build, you got to start somewhere. Director of Athletics Jim Center told me last week that UTEP is committed to rebuilding this program the right way, and that'll be under Dimmel as he hits the recruiting trail for the early signing day period.